This happened to me recently when an ad serving limit was placed on my Google AdSense account. As this was the first time I was experiencing something like this, I was unaware of what all I need to do to get the limit removed from my Google AdSense account and what exactly does it mean. I was also confused about how long will it take to get the ad limit removed and if I have done any violation. So with all these questions, I decided to put all the solutions in this video that I found on the internet and plus what worked for me. Hey everyone, you are watching getassist.net and in this video, I will be talking about why Google AdSense puts an ad limit on your account and how you can get it removed. I will also show you the live example of what all I did to get the limit removed on my Google AdSense account. So make sure you watch the video till the end and now let's get started. Earlier, Google used to permanently terminate the AdSense account for a website whenever it noticed any invalid traffic or invalid activity. But now, instead of suspending the account, it only puts a temporary limit on the number of ads that you can show on your website. So all in all, it is a good move and nothing to be worried about. Now let's talk about some of the reasons for facing ad serving limit on your Google AdSense account. Mainly the ad serving limit is placed if you are getting invalid clicks on your website or ads. Now for example, if there is a sudden increase in the traffic on your website or even if you are viewing your post again and again or clicking on your ads from the same IP, this can get you an ad serving limit on your website. Also, if you are receiving less organic traffic and more traffic from other sources, for example, if the majority of the traffic on your website is from Facebook, this can also get you an ad serving limit. Also, if your AdSense account is being accessed by Google for traffic quality, that time also a temporary limit can be placed on your AdSense account that mostly gets removed within 30 days. So these are some situations where you may have to face a temporary ad serving limit. Now I will show you how I got the ad serving limit removed on my Google AdSense account. So first of all, I received this email that mentioned temporary ad serving limit placed on your account. So as this said temporary, I was a bit relaxed that it will get removed automatically after some time and I was also thinking if I can do something to get it removed. Then I logged into my Google AdSense account on which I received this ad serving limit. Here is the message that you can see the number of ads you can show has been limited. For details, go to the policy center. Now, in the policy center, you can see more details about the ad serving limit and what you can do about it. Now, the first step that you need to take to fix or remove the limit is to turn off the auto ads and for that, click on the ads option from the left menu. So here, as you can see, I have already turned off the auto ads for my website. You can click on edit and make sure this toggle here is turned off and then you have to click on apply to site. Next, you can delete or remove the ads from ad unit. These are the ads that we manually show in the middle of the content or on the site or wherever in the entire content. We can remove them so go to ad unit and here you will see the existing ad units and now to remove them click on the three dots and then click on archive. So here you have to remove those ad units that you created before you received the ad serving limit and once you have removed them you can create two to three ad units so that your earnings don't stop. The next thing that you need to check is the ad placement so you have to ensure that there is proper spacing between the ads that you have placed and the content so that there is no accidental click that often leads to invalid clicks and as a result you get the ad serving limit. So here you can see for this post for every ad I have in this article I have given proper margin before and after the content so you can give a margin of 15 pixel or 30 pixel. I will show you how you can give a margin for any post so you have to log into your dashboard and then you have to click on the plugins option and then select customize. This will open the website in the edit mode and now here you can select any post for which you want to give the margin. For example, if that is the post, click here on the pencil icon. Here you can add some margin next to width and height. Once you have added the margin, click on publish to save the changes. 
Apart from that, you should also ensure that you are getting more of organic traffic. Here as you can see, I am getting a good percentage of organic traffic. You have to go to overview section under acquisition to check the type of traffic you are getting for your website. Here you can analyze how much organic traffic you are getting and how much you are getting from other sources. This is also analyzed by Google. So if you are getting more of organic traffic or not. So it should be somewhere between 70 to 80 percent. The last thing that you can do is to fill in the feedback form. So click on the feedback option in your Google AdSense account. Here you can share the issue that you're facing, but make sure to not include any sensitive information and you can even add a screenshot of the issue and then submit it. Now, after some days when I logged back into my Google AdSense account, I saw that the notification of ad serving limit was no longer there as you can see on the screen and even if you will click on notifications the issue is not there anymore even if you will go to the policy center you can see the limit has been removed no current issues also i will keep the auto ads off for a few more days as if i will turn them back on this can again increase the traffic suddenly and that can be considered invalid so google might place the ad serving limit again Moreover, after deleting the ad units and creating three new ones, I was able to earn some revenue that you can see right here. So that was all I have to share about Google AdSense ad serving limit, why it happens and what all you can do to get it removed. Just make sure you are not getting invalid traffic or clicks on your website in any form. So if you found this helpful, please do subscribe to my channel and if you have any suggestions for my next video, do let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching.